Alrighty, uh, hey everybody, this is Amin Mojira with uh, Imagination Everywhere and the Rhea Institute. And we're back with uh, the sixth video tutorial in this series on uh, Visual Web Developer and designing websites uh, using the Microsoft Visual Web Developer Suite. And yesterday we talked about uh, light boxes and how we can use light boxes to pop up uh, put image galleries and things like that and I showed you the image gallery if we go back um, I have actually two instances of uh, Visual Studio open right now um, and if we um, go to the web page that we were at yesterday um, we can look at the code that we had if we look at the code um, I adjusted it a little bit. Um, I actually put a button um, and some images in it. Uh, here's one image. And if we zoom out, if we look at it in the browser, here's what I have. Let me have the Think Big Act truck. Um, and then I was able to tweak the code a little bit to create a little image gallery. So here's a next button right here. And here's another image. So the question that you might be asking is, yes, um, here's the link to the to the photos that pops up the light box uh, for the for the uh, for the image gallery. If we go back into Visual Studio, the way I was able to make this happen um, is I took the anchor tag um, and placed it inside of a div and I put the images uh, the image one which was the first truck that you saw um, and I related it to the light box and I put it in a group and uh, the button actually um, is within the image tag the the, the photo button um, however the second image, the way I was able to do that is I put it within another anchor tag and you know linked it to the image and I didn't have to put anything between the anchor tag as you can see um, I didn't have to put another image there and what I did was I put its, visi its visibility to false so that's how you're able and of course I did the uh, relationship to the light box and put the group in and so you can put as many images as you want um, into it to you know make a gallery now this is with um, a, a piece of software that was designed by somebody else um, if you want to do video you're going to have to design your light box yourself and I'm going to give you a little preview of what that looks like um, yeah we're going to learn how to use JavaScript and uh, more of a CSS to make sites dynamic but I just wanted to let you know that it is possible to uh, to make um, to put video in your light box because I know you want you you all want to put videos on your website but that's a little bit more um, complex that in some f in some f uh, some uh, future tutorials we're going to be able to do but right now I just wanted to give you an idea of what that looks like so uh, and it and you do it through, the, through what's called the object tag in HTML. Here's the object tag um, and you do it through what's called a, a, a collapsed div. So if we go to the uh, browser, here's what I did. I created a little, uh, well took a little image and popped it up and here you go. We have video. And as you can see, you can put a media, you can put Windows Media files, you can do Flash files, you can do QuickTime, you can do all that. Um, so uh, sometimes they mess up uh, like that right there. Let me go ahead and close that out. Okay, we got a little feedback there, so I had to cut out the feedback but basically what I was telling you is that you're able to uh, 
uh, install video on your website using what what we call the object tag here in HTML and it has to have a parameter name and then it has to have the the value has to have the actual uh, file and within the type of object tag it has to instantiate the when the object when the tag is creating itself it has to have um, the the type has to be the video uh, file that um, um, it has to be the uh, type of file that it is so um, but we'll be explaining that later but I just wanted to uh, explain and get to you that you know uh, it's easier there are programs out there that uh, 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 software uh, developers or uh, internet developers have developed light boxes that you can put video into but it's uh, very complicated and they try to make you pay for it and I'm giving you the freeway um, also uh, I'm using jQuery on this. Uh, you could either use the Google uh, jQuery library, or I actually just use the uh, 1.2.6 uh, version of jQuery to do this. Um, so, uh, and then again, uh, there's a J JavaScript file that that has to be uh, created. And again, it's 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 a little bit more complicated. But I just wanted to give you that um, because I know that you guys went away yesterday uh, after being able to do the images, um, wanting to be able to put uh, uh, a video gallery together. And you know, so that's what this uh, uh, this tutorial was about. Um, again uh, just give me a couple of days and I'll be able to put together a quick tutorial for you in in order to do this from scratch and once we do it do it from scratch you can also put whatever you want in that light box instead of just using the uh, light box uh, uh, application that I sold you yesterday so thank you and uh, we'll be having another tutorial tomorrow